Hey guys! Welcome back to another episode of Art Journal Thursday, where we get creative every single Thursday here on this channel. For today's episode, I got really inspired by the two designs I found on Pinterest and I thought it would be fun to create something myself. Today I wanted to talk about how to come up with ideas for projects and how to motivate and inspire yourself to actually creating something. Since I'm now uploading twice a week on Thursday and on Saturday, I need to constantly come up with ideas and topics. And you guys help me a lot with that because you always suggest video ideas or things you would like me to do on this channel and I really appreciate the feedback and suggestions because they do help me a lot. But sometimes even if I have a full list of ideas, I sometimes don't feel like creating any of it. Not because they're not great ideas, but just because I don't feel really inspired for some reason. I might even feel totally motivated to create something, but all the ideas I have don't inspire me to start creating. I know there are a lot of people saying, if it's your job, you can't wait for motivation or inspiration, you just need to show up and get things done. And yes, sometimes it's true, especially if you're an artist and you have deadlines for paintings you need to finish because people are waiting and you can't really just sit around and wait to feel inspired to paint something. You just need to get things done. That's why it's important to avoid these types of situations in the first place, where you just feel unmotivated and uninspired. Whenever I feel uninspired, it's usually due to different reasons. The one problem can be that I focused on creating too much that I didn't make time to actually take in any inspiration to fill my creativity tank. As creative people, we can't create non-stop, we also need to take some time off to just absorb inspiration by absorbing everything around us in order to fill the creativity and the inspiration tank in ourselves. Or otherwise we just run out of any fuel and then feel uninspired, unmotivated and even burned out. In these types of situations, what helps me is to just browse through internet, usually Pinterest. I will just type in random words into the search bar and then just browse through everything. If you like something, check out the pins the site recommends to you that are similar. This way you can discover really beautiful and inspiring things that you haven't even thought about. One time I was browsing something summer related and found a cake or cookies, I'm not really sure anymore, that looked like the beach and I thought, wait, I could make something similar into wall art. I like the idea to create sand and imprints in it, so I started searching for more inspiration around this topic and found beautiful pictures of the beach, beach decor and other things that I could incorporate into my creation. Sometimes it's just about finding things that are already existing, taking them out of their context, combining them with new things and then making them into something totally new. That's why it's great to have a folder with random images. It could be color combinations, patterns, pictures of flowers or sceneries or anything else. So whenever you feel like you don't feel inspired, you can browse through your folder and refresh your mind and maybe even find new things to put inside the folder that you like. And sometimes you have great ideas but you don't feel like creating them anyway. Some of you guys ask me about it and how I deal with that and I can tell you that this happens to me a lot. Like I said, sometimes I have a huge list of video ideas but I don't feel like making any of this. Even if I did everything I just told you to do, sometimes a full folder with inspiration doesn't help either. Whenever I'm busy creating things, I am focused on being productive and getting ahead with creating more things that I lose sight of why I'm actually creating or want to create and, and what I'm actually doing. Because here my focus is on being productive and being consistent with my work. So it's easy to forget why you're actually doing it. And in these situations, I try to evaluate the ideas I have on my list that I'm supposed to create but don't feel like doing it. Why don't I really care about creating this? What could be the reason? 
Why don't I feel inspired to make them? Do I really care about this project? If not, why not? Is it because it doesn't feel like it will create enough value that has meaning behind it? For example, I love creating painting out loud videos, but it's hard for me to talk about something just like that. For some reason, I really need to be in the mood and feel inspired to make a video about a certain topic. Usually it happens whenever I feel like I went through something and learned something new and then I get super excited to share my thoughts with you. But this will always be something I'm passionate about as to me these videos have value because you guys tell me that they help you a lot. They are not just videos to get lots of views and are trendy. I'm passionate about them because they have meaning and help you guys. That's why I always take time to rethink everything whenever I feel uninspired. Why do I like to create? What do I want to achieve with my videos? I love creating videos that can help you guys and inspire you in any way that can encourage you to express yourself in your own unique way and to just have fun while doing it. If you ever feel unmotivated to create something, try to ask yourself the same questions. Do you create art because you love it or because you have to? If it's something for school, I can understand that a topic the teacher chooses might not be something you like, but you can also see it as a challenge. How would you illustrate this topic? What things come in mind when you think about it? What does it remind you of? Maybe this is a topic you don't really like because you're not too familiar with it or good with it. This could be a great chance to work on that and to improve. And if you feel super motivated and inspired but don't exactly know what to create, start somewhere. Because if you like to create because you like to have fun, to express yourself, don't worry too much. Just start somewhere. Just start with a simple sketch on a plain piece of paper. Before I created this painting, I accidentally found some tattoo designs while I was browsing something totally different. That's the power of Pinterest. And I got intrigued by that because I found such beautiful designs that I felt like I wanted to create something similar that is awesome as well. What I noticed a lot is that they use similar shapes, so like circles, triangles, squares. So I thought I could start with something round, a moon. So I started with a simple sketch of a simple moon shape and then I thought about what I could add next. I had no idea what I would create so I just started somewhere. Since I didn't want to keep the moon empty, I thought what I could add and since the moon looked like something could sit on top of it, I decided why not adding a cute bird as well as I already considered painting birds or other animals before this idea hit me. As the next step I thought what else I could add and decided to draw a few flowers to the left side because I love flowers and I thought it would look cute next to the moon. And from here I just wanted to keep it simple. Personally, I like the black and white version more than the painted version, but both have their own style and feeling to it. The black and white version could actually be a tattoo or a simple sticker with a doodle style, and the color version could be a sticker or a pin. I also got questions about when to stop adding new things to your drawing or painting, and this is something I still struggle with. Usually I start with a sketch and try different things. For example, in the beginning I planned on drawing cute clouds above the moon and the bird but I felt like it doesn't do anything to the overall artwork and it looked weird too so I removed them. Usually what helps me in the situation is to ask myself if this detail I'm thinking of adding to my painting or drawing adds any value or makes a difference. Do I really need clouds above the bird and the moon? Not really, it just adds something that is distracting from the main object. Or do I really need more flowers? I could try out adding more flowers on my sketch and see if it changes anything. I would recommend just starting with a sketch and trying it out. Start simple and then add more and more things until you start questioning yourself if you need to add anything else. Usually it's a sign you don't really need anything else. You just feel like you have to because maybe the sketching didn't take too long or because the paper has some white areas that make you want to fill them in. So I try to ask yourself if this new addition to the painting will make any difference or if it will only make the artwork look crowded. Maybe you don't need anything else in the background and you can just color it without adding any special detail. I think the most important thing is to remember that we are all human and we all go through phases where we feel low, uninspired, unmotivated, frustrated and just not the best version of ourselves. 
but that's okay. We just need to figure out what works best for us to deal with that and to overcome these things. If eating ice cream and watching Netflix for one week straight helps you to be super inspired, motivated and productive, do that. It's just really nice to see ways how other people deal with certain situations, so we have a pool of ideas that we can try out whenever we feel low. So if you guys have any tips or ideas about how to deal with feeling unmotivated and uninspired, let us know. Comment down below what helps you to overcome this phase and what helps you to come up with new ideas for your creations and ways to keep yourself happy and inspired. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, it will mean a lot to me. And don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell button if you're new to this channel so you never miss any new video. I upload every Thursday and Saturday. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you on Saturday. Bye!